Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to highlight and contour your face using only powders. So if you guys are interested in seeing my face go from this to this, then keep watching. Okay guys, so first I always start out with a lighter color bronzer just to kind of warm up my face a little bit before I fully go in with the contour. So I usually start out with the hula bronzer. So this is what this looks like. I always start out by using a bronzer that's on the grayer side and I just use that to kind of map out where I want the contour to go before I fully go in and chisel different features because this just gives it kind of like a softer feel and it almost gives it like a more gradient look I guess you could say. So it doesn't come off as harsh when you overall bronze your face first and then go in and cut the areas that you need to be just a little sharper. That makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna start with my forehead and I'm just gonna go around in circle motions and get my temples here. So this helps when you have a bigger forehead. Not that I have like a, a big forehead necessarily, but if you do, this is a really good step for you. If you have a smaller forehead, I would avoid this step altogether. So I like to do this with a smaller contour brush. The one that I'm using is by Sigma. And this is the F05. Just getting my cheeks and I'm going along my contour line here. Then I go along my jawline. And just go down my neck a little bit just to make sure that all of my foundation was blended as well. So now I'm going in with a darker cool tone powder and the one that I use is by Ben Nye. It's the Media Pro Powder in the shade Neutral. So this one's all crumbly so I'm just gonna pop a picture up right here just to show you guys what it looks like. And you can get this one on CameraReadyCosmetics.com. I'll link that below for you guys. Also, any kind of face powder that's like two shades darker than a skin tone is good too. Um, it, it really is preference. They do say that you should use more on the cooler side because what it does is it mimics the shadows on your face. So if you're looking here, you can see on your face, sorry, I'm like, um, you can see on your face that it's, your shadows are a little more cool toned. If you look here and look here, it's more of a grayer tone. So what you're trying to do basically with contouring is you're just mimicking that. You're just going a little harsher just to make it look like you have more prominent cheekbones or like you have a more prominent bone structure. So to sharpen those features, I'm going to go in with this brush comes with um, the Hula bronzer. So it looks like this. The shape of this brush just helps you get right into the contour since it's so thin. You can just kind of see my bone structure is right here. You can see it already. But if you guys have a hard time finding where your bones are, you can either just feel it out. Mine's right here. And then you just want to go directly below that. Also, you can grab a brush and you can just kind of roll that along there and that'll show you. So when you roll it, roll it over the bone and then go directly under it where that hollow is that's where they say that you want your contour to start right underneath there and then a lot of people say that you should start back where your ear is and then go middle part to your eye so it's like halfway the halfway point so you want to gradiate it down towards your mouth and then meet it halfway where your eye is there I don't go directly from my ear. I usually go right from here and then I take it down to the center of my eye. I'll show you guys. And then also you can do this kind of like fishy face like to kind of it just shows you where to go right it just shows you where to go. It shows you where to go right here. So I'm just kind of stamping that on. You don't want to wipe it a whole lot 
because that can actually cause it to look really muddy. So you just want to do this really lightly. And then I usually gradiate that up slightly just so that it's not a super harsh line there. Then we're good to go to the other side. Then I go in with a small stippling brush. This one is by e.l.f. And then I just lightly tap that in to blend it out. So like I said, you don't want to brush this one either. Because that can cause it to get muddy real quick. So when blending it, you always want to press up and go in this direction. If you go down, if you start blending it down, it just kind of defeats the purpose and makes your face look longer. So you don't want to do that. And then what I do is I connect where I had my contour for my temple. It just gives it a little bit more of a cohesive feel. It makes it look a little more natural. Then I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of that powder and then go on my forehead. I'm just gonna go right where my hairline is pretty much. So I don't need to take it down too far at all. But like I said, if you have a larger forehead, I would take it down about halfway so that you're shading that whole part there. So shading is pretty much you're putting a shadow on something and highlighting is what you want to bring forward. So I'm going back in with that Hoola bronzer brush. And I'm just going to go right along my jawline here. So I do this because I don't have a fully defined jawline. There are some people who do. So for this step, what you would do if you have a really strong jawline is kind of bring it up. You would bring it up on your I guess like chin a little bit, like along here. Like just a little higher up, just to smooth it a little bit so it doesn't look as harsh. But if you don't have a really defined jawline like I do, you just wanna go along here and almost mimic like you do. Then you're gonna go back in with that stippling brush. Just go in circling motions, just very lightly, and blend that out. Then you want to take it down just a little, a little bit to make sure that everything's blended so it's not just like a harsh, like, you know, separate color from your foundation. So to go in and chisel out that cheekbone a little more, I'm going to go underneath with some setting powder. So the one that I like to use is by RCMA. This is the original no color powder. So you guys can get this one either on Amazon or Color Ready Cosmetics. I'll link that below for you guys. There's another one by Ben Nye that's really good. This is the Media Pro powder. And this is just in a colorless, colorless matte powder. Actually, I'm gonna switch it up and go with the Ben Nye Media Pro powder. So I always use the RCMA. So you just wanna drag that right below where you contoured. So like this and just kind of stamp it on. And this just further emphasizes that contour by making the bottom part just a little lighter. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that bake there while I go in with my nose contour. So the one that I normally use to map out my nose contour is one by the Vintage Cosmetic Company. And that is this guy here. And I still use this one all the time, but there's actually another brush in the set that came with it that I kind of wanted to try out. And I'm just mapping out this line very lightly. You don't want to push really hard because it'll take away your foundation and it can just look really muddy. And the closer together you draw the lines, the more narrow your nose is gonna look. And the wider apart you go, the wider your nose is gonna look. 
really deep right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go underneath and this just gives the illusion of making your nose look a little shorter. Then I'm gonna go in with my JD180 brush by Luxie. Just to blend that out. So I'm just kind of tapping along that line there. Again, you don't wanna drag it or be too harsh on this part because it'll just make it look really muddy. And then I always like to go really far over into almost my crease area to kind of blend that contour into my eyeshadow. It just helps it look a little more finished to me. And I like to grab my face powder and dab right along my nose contour just to soften it a little bit and make it look a little more natural. So the one that I use is by Maybelline and this is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 120. And I just tap that along that line there. Now we're gonna dust away that bake that we had underneath our contour. And you can even kind of bring that up where you did the contour just to soften it a little bit, make it look a little more natural. And then do the same thing on your jawline there. And I've been dying to use this Sculptor palette by Pure. This came in my BoxyCharm. And I figure maybe I'll just use this as my bronzer, but this is what this looks like. So I'll use that lighter bronzer color, it's called Inventor. And then I'm gonna grab that F05 brush again just to put that on. And I forgot to mention, for contour powders, you want to make them as matte as possible. You don't want them to be shimmery at all. Anything that's shimmery just takes away from the naturalness of the contour and the whole point of contour is to make it look like your face is supposed to look like that. I mean, I think I think pretty much everyone can tell when you contour your face that it's contour and it's not completely natural. But it's supposed to give more of a, a natural effect, not just completely bonds, bonds, lines drawn on your face. So I'm just applying this bronzer, kind of where you would apply blush. Just right along your cheeks here. This is a really nice, really nice bronzer. And I'm gonna go on my forehead as well. And a little bit along my neck. And this like, this kind of smells like brownies a little bit. It's crazy. Making me hungry now. I'm just gonna drag this onto my neckline a little bit. Wow, I can't believe how much I love this. This is awesome. Now we're moving on to highlighting. So I think I'm gonna go back in with that, that pure palette, the Sculptor palette. I'll probably go in with the lighter shade, Originator. And I'm gonna use the Sigma Spotlight Duster brush for this. My microphone just fell out, sorry about that. Okay. Just gonna put that on here, just dust the tip here. And then I'm just gonna drag this along the top of my bone here. So you can always feel where the top of your bone is and you just wanna hit that with some highlighter. It just gives you the illusion of a higher cheekbone. So if you can't feel where your bone is there, a good rule of thumb is to go almost where the corner of your eyebrow is and then just shade down. And then I go a little bit on my chin here. And then the rest left over I do on my forehead. So you don't want to put highlight where you have any textured areas. So highlighters are there to make features more prominent. So if you have any indentation or like I said texture, it's really going to make that pop and you're not going to want that. So for example for me, I have acne scarring along my jawline here. So 
you know, you don't want to put anything that shimmers on top of that or else it's just going to kind of fill in those in that indentation there and just like make it brighter. It's just going to it's not going to look good. It's not cute. Then I'm going to grab my Luxie 215 brush. So this is a small angle brush. I'm going to go back into that highlighter and I'm going to hit right underneath my brows to make these pop forward. This just helps clean up your brows a little bit and it makes your arch look a little higher. Then I'm grab that, then I'm grab it. Then I'm gonna grab that and go right on tip of my nose here and just make a little dot. So this is Carly Bible's trick for nose highlighting. So she does a little dot there to almost give you that button nose effect. Then you wanna go along the bridge of your nose, just in a really thin line. And this just draws all the attention to cinching in here. It's always really hard getting a straight line along here. So just take your time with this step. That might still be a little crooked, but that's okay. It adds character. So you just want to grab your, you're just going to walk, you're just going to want to grab your finger and then just kind of smooth out that line a little bit. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of blush to finish it off. And this one is by Pretty Vulgar. And this is in the shade Hush Blush. And that was pretty pigmented, so I'm just going into just my powder. Just dipping that brush into my powder and then just going right over that. So this is the finished look, guys. I hope that you were able to learn something from this video. Um, I hope that it was somewhat informational. Um, I had a few requests to do a highlight and contour video, so I just kind of went with it. Um, you know, I do a full face of makeup every single day but I haven't really learned how to explain why I do things or even fully know why I do them. I think it just comes with doing makeup throughout the years. It's all kind of trial and error. You kind of figure out the placement of where things need to go in order to emphasize different features and what looks best on you. So I do do these things every single day, but explaining them is kind of on a different level. Um, so. I did watch like a few different videos trying to throw some facts at you guys within this video so that I don't sound like a complete idiot. Um, but yeah, I probably did still sound like an idiot because I kind of still, I'm learning guys, I'm learning, okay? I'll make another video when I know what I'm doing. But for right now, I hope that this fulfills some questions that you guys have for contouring. Um, or hopefully you guys can at least get a good laugh of my lack of knowledge on this area. So anyway, I hope that, that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give me a like down below and also hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.